I'm Corbin. I'm Alexis. I'm in trouble. Yes, you are. <laughs> and uh, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter! Oh, juicy content! It's so juicy. Thank you for supporting us on Patreon. And follow us on the official Twitter account. Don't mind these laughing <laughs> <was so> hoodlums. <laughs> I'm sorry. And today, okay. today, we're reacting to Ra Say this name for me, please, Rick. Rod Barabi. Rod Barabi. Rod Barabi. Don't you uh, think Alexis? I think so, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a video. It's the bar that we've wrecked. The barge? The bar festival. A couple of singers we've wrecked. <laughs> this one is a sitar and tab. I don't know. Tabla. Tabla? Yes, uh, which is the. Dum -dum 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 yes. The drum, a very super cool thing. We were first introduced to that with Tashar. Yes, we were. Uh, but this has been highly requested in those videos that we wrecked. You'll recognize the setup when yeah. I press play. This is going to transport me to another realm, I can tell already, because I remember... Welcome to London South Bank, and the largest Indian classical music event in Europe. This is Sky Art's things. exclusive coverage of, of, of the 9th Annual Dabar Festival. It's an annual festival, we should go. <laughs> I think it's in London. It's in London. I don't... We should go.
out. That was a that was a ride. <clears throat> Masters. It reminded me of listening to if you're familiar with classic rock at all. Um, listening to Eric Clapton, Stevie Ray Vaughan, or uh, Carlos Santana. The mastery playing guitar. Um, when I was listening to the sitar, and then it shifted into <laughs> what is this? Uh, this instrument, the tabla. Tabla. Yeah. He freaking rocked it. <laughs> it doesn't even look like he's actually doing. No, it, it doesn't. <laughs> that makes it even like more impressive than like drums because you have to control like your yeah, yeah and it's all your digits a... and doing the different things. My guess, <laughs> my guess is it's probably one of the most gentle and sensitive and nuanced percussion instruments, if not the most nuanced. Either and that, sensitive. or just they just make it look really easy. He's actually hitting it very hard. Right, which <laughs> I, I don't think that's the case. But man, that 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 took me. The journey that took me on was just. It's a. I was out in the desert and a <laughs> tent with torches, and that was sexy. That was sexy. That was just. Was. And I could have, I could have easily just let that go for another series. That could have been forty five minutes of just that. I'm pretty sure that <sighs> festival is like it's just a bunch of really great musicians. That moment with the harmonics, because there's stuff you can do with a, with a guitar that we know Western guitar where there's certain places on the frets that you mm -hmm. can. In fact, people will tune their guitar that way and make sure that it's in tune by hitting the harmonics above that ring out. And he did that and played with that. But the other cool thing about the sitar is the fact that I don't know how many strings it has, but it has strings that are specifically for the melodic soloing. Mm -hmm. And then the underneath, that's basically the chord, the sustaining yeah. thing that he repeatedly will go back with his finger and strum and then use his finger to get to the other soloing strings. Mm -hmm. And then it'll go dun 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 Crazy. Mastery. <laughs> Musical Crazy mastery. Impressive. Um, love this. Uh, let us know other like if there's different masters of their instrument, whether it's singing, sitar, or, uh, the thousands of other instruments that are yeah. Yeah. India. It also makes me realize because my favorite band of all time is the Beatles, and obviously knowing the Beatles when they went to India, it completely changed their lives and it changed their their musicality, and it opened them up interestingly from their stereotypical rock and roll Western music to a completely whole other world of sound composition and they changed Western rock and roll music yeah. by Sgt. Pepper was the first film that, of uh, the first film, was the first album that was a concept album where it was, the entire album was a singular piece of artistry mm -hmm. that was Sgt. Pepper. And that's what's so beautiful about Eastern music from India is because there's so many notes in between yeah. that we don't have in Western music that's tuned to A440. It's just we don't touch those A440. notes. Our instruments don't do it. Don't the sitar it. doesn't. Yeah, A440, I've talked about this before. A440, it's the, it's the vibrations per second for the note of A. If you go to an orchestra and they tune mm -hmm. to Western music, if it's uh, mm -hmm. classic, yeah, everybody tunes. Mm -hmm. They're tuning to that A. Oh, okay. And it's called A440 because it has 440 vibrations in a second of, oh. if you break that down. Eastern music isn't tuned that way or mm -hmm. written that way. There's the notes in between the notes, uh, which is a mathematical beauty <laughs> of, you've got the harmonic series that happens and the circle of fifths, yeah. but in between those, like on a piano, I've talked about this before, there's 88 keys on a piano, but in between those half notes from a C to a C sharp, there's a lot going on that you can bend, yeah. that you can't bend on a piano, right. but you can on a guitar, but most Western music doesn't do that. Yeah. This does, and it takes you to places that you don't go anywhere else. The ones that do are the masters. Like Carlos Santana does it a lot. He does. He's a very um, Spanish style. Guitar. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then, obviously, Eric Clapton. Uh, the uh, blues. The blues again. Referencing yeah. the blues. The blues takes you in there. Like BB uh, King. He he I saw touches. That. You got to see BB King live. Yep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you really did. <laughs> yeah. He was on a boat that my dad was captaining. Wow, that must have been. I talked to him. Unbelievable. I have of that. You talked to me, BK? I did. Wow, yeah, that's crazy. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, it was crazy. Wow. I didn't. Obviously, I was like 
six to eight years old. So yeah. I, I, I remember it, but I can't. I couldn't appreciate right. what oh, sure. was happening oh, at the time. Of course not. Right. I was meeting a legend. Right, but, right. Yeah. And I would, if this is a yearly thing in some way, shape, or form, I'd love to find out when it happens and go. If it's a celebration of Indian music, are you kidding? Yeah, that'd yeah. be awesome. 